hey guys welcome to all of you on our channel that is achieve ias so friends as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have multi uh, we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains so in this video we will be talking about our current affair mcq series in which what we do we daily discuss mcqs from your current affair perspective so today is uh, uh, 17 november so let's see what are the questions or MC mcqs current affair mcqs for today so the first question is consider the following statements first ministry of jal shakti has released the water quality report for state capitals and delhi second the jal jeevan mission announced by prime minister narendra modi aims to provide tap water to all households by 2022 so which of the above statements is are not correct so uh, are not correct so we have to choose that so friends uh, let me tell you that both of these statements are incorrect uh, so uh, answer should be C so both are incorrect uh, so Union Ministry of Consumer uh, uh, Affairs uh, Consumer Affairs has released water quality report for state capitals and Delhi as analyzed by Bureau of India standards so first statement is incorrect and uh, second statement is also incorrect because uh, Jal Jeevan mission under Jal Jeevan mission the uh, uh, aim to provide tap water to all household households is by 2024. So more detail is that uh, this water quality report for state capitals in Delhi as analyzed by Bureau of Indian India standards uh, uh, it has been released so samples of drinking water were tested so then uh, tests were conducted on various parameters. So there are findings uh, which are like a, a vast majority of samples have failed to comply with the, the standard requirements that are given under it uh, in one or more parameters. So in Delhi, all the 11 samples drawn from various places did not comply with the requirements of Indian standard and failed on uh, several parameters. So more details you can read by pausing the video. Now let's move to the next question. Next is cons uh, consider the following statements. Uh, first, uh, the German parliament uh, uh, passed the Climate uh, Protection Act in an attempt to reach its climate target by 2030. Second, France passed the Zero Carbon Law in a bid to comply with its Paris Climate Accord commitments and become a carbon neutral nation by 2050. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct. Let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is first. So German parliament has passed this Climate Protection Act. To, uh, in attempt to reach its uh, ta climate target by 2030. Uh, so first statement is incorrect. Uh, regarding second statement, it is incorrect uh, because the new, uh, first statement is correct. Sorry. Regarding second statement, it is uh, New Zealand and not France which has passed zero carbon law so as to comply with Paris Climate Accord commitments and uh, become a carbon neutral uh, nation by the year 2050. So more details you can read. So uh, Germany will uh, be the first country with climate action law uh, that is to Climate Protection Act. So with this bill a price on carbon emissions in the transport and heating sectors will be imposed along with some other measures uh, to combat climate change. So from 2021 companies that uh, uh, market diesel and petrol, heating oil and natural gas in the country will need to obtain pollution rights for the amount of greenhouse gases they emit. So this will also be regulated through a national emissions trading mechanism. So you can uh, read more about uh, the, this uh, explanation by pausing the video. And now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements. First, the Press Council of India was first set up in year 1966 uh, by the Parliament on the recommendations of First Press Commission. Second, it is a statutory body functioning under Press Council Act uh, 1978 and it is statutory quasi-judicial body acting as watchdog of press and it consists of chairman who has by convention been a retired judge of Supreme Court and 28 other members. So we have to choose that which of the following statements is are correct. Let me tell you friends that all these statements are correct. So the answer should be D. So more details are here. So it is a statutory body uh, which com uh, governs the uh, uh, conduct of uh, 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 that governs the conduct of print media and uh, it was first set up uh, in the year 1966 by the parliament on the recommendations of first press commission. So presently council works uh, functions under press council act uh, council act 1978. So which arose from the recommendations of second press press commission of India and then the press council is a quasi judicial body 
and uh, it also adjudicates the complaints against and by the press for violation of ethics and for violation of the freedom of the press respectively now let's move to the next question next is recently which ministry has set up development council for bicycle a ministry of corporate affairs b ministry of commerce and industry c ministry of road and transport highways Trans road transport and highways d is ministry for women and child development so the answer is uh, b ministry of commerce and industry so department for promotion of industry and inter 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 internal trade international trade or internal trade uh, ministry of commerce and industry has set up de uh, development council for bicycle so it has been set up for the vision uh, planning and design engineering and manufacturing of lighter smarter value added uh, safe and faster premium bicycles so which are comparable with global standards for exports and domestic market so 23 member council will be headed by dpitt uh, secretary and the constitution of the council is for a period of 2 years now let's move on to the next question next is which state government has launched a dedicated web portal and a mobile application e gana app for e gana app for sugarcane farmers a rajasthan b maharashtra c uttar pradesh d punjab so answer is c that is U uttar pradesh so up government has launched a dedicated web portal and a mobile application for sugarcane farmers that is e ganna app and it will ensure transparency in the process of getting slips and facilitate sugarcane supply by farmers to mills and check irregularities and now let's move on to the next question next is consider the following statements about brics first the themes of the theme of brics summit this year was economic growth for an innovative future a uh, second headquarters of new development bank is in shanghai china the uh, brics company uh, comprises of almost half of the world gdp fourth is brics countries uh, each have an equal share and no country has uh, any veto power so we have to choose that which of the uh, these statements are correct let me tell you friends that uh, uh, the third statement is incorrect rest of the statements are all, are, are all correct so the answer should be uh, c yeah answer should be c So BRICS is an acronym uh, for uh, uh, for an association of five major emerging national economies that is Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. So it brings together five major emerging economies comprising 42% of the world's population and uh, close to quarter or 23% of the global GDP and around 17% of the share um, uh, in world trade. So third statement is incorrect. So the theme of the BRICS summit this year was economic growth for an innovative future. Uh, so statement first is correct. So next is uh, uh, BRICS countries uh, uh, each have an equal uh, share and no country has uh, only uh, has any veto power. So fourth statement is correct. So the uh, next move on to the next question. Let's move on to the uh, headquarters of NDB is in Shanghai, China. The first regional office of NDB is in Johannesburg, South Africa. And uh, so statement second is correct. so you can read about more details by uh, pausing the video now let's move to the next uh, uh, question uh, next is recently ganjipa was in news so uh, we have, which of the following is uh, correct about it so we have to choose let me tell you friends uh, that uh, here the correct answer is uh, we have to choose correct answer so it is uh, let me tell you friends in short words ganjipa is an basic, basically is that it, it is an engine card game So it is believed to have been brought to India during the Mughal period. So the answer is C. Now let's uh, move. On. Extra knowledge is that Bangalore's Karnataka Chitrakala Parishad uh, recently released this book, Splendors of Ganjipa Art, containing 12 chapters by well-known Ganjipa artists, scholars, and historians to document the uh, fading form. So this book is considered the first comprehensive and detailed documentation of the art form, with contributions from practicing artists and art scholars. so more details you can check by pausing the video now let's move to the next question next is uh, consider the following statements first national initiative for school heads and teachers holistic advancement was uh, launched in ut of jammu and kashmir second nesta is a national mission which aims to build the capacities of 40 lakh parties 42 lakh uh, participants covering all teachers and heads of schools at elementary level in all government schools uh, across the country faculty members of sies scrts or dieets so we have to choose which of the above statements is are correct let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct so the answer would be c um, 
सो मोर डिटेल्स इज दैट निस्टा इज बेसिकली अ प्रोग्राम इट वॉज लॉन्च इन यू टी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर फर्स्ट एंड इट एम्स टू बिल्ड द कपैसिटी ऑफ फोर्टी टू लैक पार्टिसिपेंट्स कवरिंग ऑल टीचर्स टीचर फैकल्टी ऑल ओवर द कंट्री सो एच आर डी मिनिस्ट्री हैज लॉन्च दिस स्कीम निस्टा टू बिल्ड द कपैसिटी ऑफ फोर्टी टू लैक गवर्नमेंट टीचर्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री एंड फुल नेम फुल नेम इज नेशनल मिशन टू इम्प्रूव लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एलिमेंट्री लेवल सो इट इज द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट टीचर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ इट्स काइंड इन द वर्ल्ड सो ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू मोटिवेट एंड इक्विप टीचर्स टू इनकरेज एंड पोस्टर क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग इन स्टूडेंट सो मोर डिटेल्स यू कैन रीड बाई पोजिंग द वीडियो नाउ लेट्स मोन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट इज रिसेंटली द सेंट्रल ब्यूरो ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन एज सेटअप एंड ऑनलाइन चाइल्ड सेक्सुअल अब्यूज एंड एक्सप्लोटेशन prevention investigation unit which of the following is not correct about it uh, so friends clearly not the word which of the following is uh, not correct so uh, the uh, central bureau of investigation is the premier uh, investigation agency of india second operating under the jurisdiction of ministry of personal public grievances and pensions the cba is headed by the uh, director uh, by the director so we have to and next is uh, the special police force became the uh, became the central bureau of investigation after the home ministry which is in charge of the domestic security decided to expand its powers and change its name in 1963 uh, so we have to choose that which of these is correct let me tell you friends that uh, the here is a typing mistake so here uh, i think the answer is uh, answer should be d and it should be all are correct so the answer is d Uh, so uh, it has been typing mistake here so cbi it, it is a premier uh, investigating agency so it is under the jurisdiction of ministry of personal public grievances and pensions so please correct the mistake so it must be all are correct and answer should be d that is all statements are correct so this is more details you can check by pausing the video now let's move on to the next question and the last question of the day the, that is which of the following is are true about mission uh, innovation first mission innovation is a global initiative of united nations to accelerate global and clean energy innovation second recently union ministry for science and technology announced the finalists of the global cooling prize at an awarding uh, award ceremony being organized by department of science and technology under the under the mission innovation program so we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is second so the answer is b so mission innovation is a global initiative of 24 countries in the european union to accelerate global clean energy innovation so statement 1 is uh, incorrect so then uh, other is uh, uh, recently union ministry um, uh, union minister for science and technology announced the finalists of global cooling prize at an award ceremony on november 15 2019 which was being organized by department of science and technology under the mission innovation program so more details you can check by watching the video so friends this is all about today's discussion and uh, if you like this video then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel and lastly friends uh, the link of our telegram channel is shown on your screen and it will be also be provided in the description box so here we have more than 14000 subscribers that follow us so you can be part of them and can access various resources that we share in this channel for the purpose of csc preparation So do ensure that you check the description box if you join if you wish to uh, join this Telegram channel and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel. In case of any doubts queries, you can mail us at chyes twenty one at the gmail dot com or uh, at uh, our contact number that is eight nine six eight nine two zero seven two zero. So friends, this is all about today's video. Thank you. Have a very nice day ahead.